Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Guys, today I am out here inside of the chicken coop. And the reason for that is, if you look around inside of here, inside of this coop, guys, I have pretty much about 19 roosters and around 38 pins. And these roosters inside of this pen is driving all these hens crazy, guys. And I uh, don't want that because these hens are not of age to be laying eggs at this moment. And so I do not want these roosters inside of this coop pretty much stressing out all these hens, guys. So what I'm going to be doing is this particular coop that I have is three sections. And so my other section at the very end of this coop, I'm gonna go ahead and put that side together so I can separate out all these roosters, guys, because I'm telling you, whew, when the sun is going down, if you guys can be out here to see the craziness that these roosters are doing, they are chasing these hens all over inside of this uh, pen here. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me um, down here at the end to go ahead and pretty much get what it is that we're gonna be taking care of today, guys. Okay, so now that we're down at the other end of the, the chicken coop, so what we're gonna be working on today, and you know, this should have been done a long time ago, but with so much stuff to be done around on the homestead, it's a little here, a little there, but now I'm back here to take care of where I left off at. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is as you guys can see, I have a piece of cross brace right here. I'm going to be doing the same thing right here and pretty much go ahead and put uh, a base down here at the bottom in the base. The reason why I have these base down here at the bottom is for whenever it rains, uh, the water won't uh, splash inside of the inside of the coop. All right, guys. Okay, guys. So just before I put this on right here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and tack this uh, the chicken wire on so that way we can have a clean finish. And when you're putting your chicken wire, what you want to do is you want to stretch it so that way you can get any kind of, let's just say wrinkle out of it.
guys. So now that we have this part right here pretty much tacked up, now we have the top that we have to take care of. So what I'm gonna be doing is go ahead and get my measurements and then we'll go ahead and put that part on and then we just have to work on the door and that will be it. That is it right there guys for this spot. And as you guys can see we had it have it nice and closed in right here on the side. So now this is where we're gonna be taking care of when it comes to the door. What I'm gonna be doing is pretty much gonna go ahead and measure down here at the bottom and that is 30 inches. we have the frame out the way for our door. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our plywood pretty much to cover this door up. Normally I would put chicken wire on it but I'm going to go ahead and use plywood instead today. All right so I'm going to run grab the plywood and I'll be right back.
right, so now what I'm gonna be doing right now is getting the engines, putting the engines on, and throwing that door up, and guess what? We will be done, and then we're gonna go ahead and start transferring the rooster into their new habitation. about that time to transfer these roosters over um, so we can give these hens some peace. Okay guys, guess what? It is rooster transferring time. Ha ha ha! 
I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave probably about two roosters inside of here. Uh, the two that I'm actually gonna be keeping here on the homestead. Most of these roosters here, guys, that you see, uh, is actually, you know, to be processed, to be, you know, to use for me. It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> yeah, boy. On the homestead, guys. So, I'm gonna leave two roosters that I think is gonna do just right here on the homestead. Okay guys, so today, you know, set out for the goal to finish this spot here and I've got it completed. And as you guys can see, we have all these roosters here guys. And most of these chickens that you're looking at here is chickens that I incubated here on the homestead. Um, I think it's two roosters over here that was actually not incubated by me. I uh, bought those two roosters from another place and you know guys so I, I had to I had to come out here and separate them. Like I said look how many heads of roosters we have here. Uh, they was just driving the hens crazy guys and you know just want to thank you guys you know thank you each and every one for coming out here today with me on this journey of completing the other end of the chicken coop. And you know, just thanking you, thanking everyone for just stopping by the whole service. And you know, just you know, shoot a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that not notification bell so that in the future, you know, as more videos being uploaded online, you guys will be the first one to receive the videos. And thanking you, thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. 